I don't pe think people really realize how serious this is. Bridget Varney is sanitizing every surface of her restaurant after finding out someone who tested positive for COVID-19 could have recently been at Kali Cantina. And we're definitely not going to reopen until we know for sure everyone is safe. No one has COVID and the restaurant has been sanitized completely. In the past week, at least four Norfolk restaurants closed their doors over COVID concerns. A.W. Shucks closed Wednesday after they say an employee tested positive for coronavirus. He had already come to visit us um, a couple times before he got the results, I guess. Less than a mile away, Collie Cantina and their neighbors, Peck and Poor, closed days later. They say a Ghent restaurant employee, which they did not name, was asymptomatic and tested positive after visiting their business. We need to make sure, you know, everybody's safe, everybody needs to get tested, and we went ahead and closed so that everybody can get tested. Peck and Poor says exposure could have happened last week, Monday through Wednesday night. Meanwhile, Alation Brewing Company announced Saturday they were going to close for two days because of possible COVID-19 exposure. Monday, the restaurant said it will remain closed until they receive negative tests from their staff. Like you think, all right, we're coming back to work. We're going to start making money now. Another setback with potentially devastating consequences. Peck and Poor says they don't have a specific date for reopening. They say they'll wait at least two weeks or until enough staff tests negative before they reopen. It's not worth it, and the owner knows that. The Virginia Department of Health says they investigate the risk of exposure and use contact tracing to notify customers and staff when an infected employee is reported to them. Hopefully we'll, we'll both be back in business as soon as possible when it's when it's safe. In Norfolk, Kofolosaki News 30.